Hey everyone, my name's Lily and today I'm going to be giving you three tips to help you code more productively. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, you want to make sure that you are having good posture and are comfortable while you're working. So I'm going to show you this mat that I use. It's called the Topo by Ergo Driven. This Ergo Driven Topo mat encourages movement subconsciously. So you don't even have to think about it. You will naturally just kind of move around. Um, and it's because of the way it was designed. So this is the side view of the Topo. And most of the time I'll keep my foot back here and I'll keep one of my foots on this centerpiece. And I really like the centerpiece because it kind of, you know, massages my foot while I'm working. But also I stand on it normal sometimes because it's so squishy that it keeps my feet really comfortable while I'm working so that I don't have any um, pain in my heels or any pain in my knees either. So yeah, I just kind of move around on this mat while I'm working subconsciously. I don't even think about it honestly because it feels really good on your feet. So you naturally kind of move on the mat. So yeah, that's how I use this. Um, if you would like to check it out, the link's in the description. I promise it will help you so much with your posture and um, reducing pain in your knees and feet if you're standing at a desk all day. All right, the second tip that I have for you is to make a list every single morning before you start work of prioritized tasks. Yes, the keyword is prioritized. I recommend opening up a Google Doc, writing down all of your tasks for the day. And then what you wanna do is pick out the most important important, crucial, absolutely you need to get done today tasks. And those are gonna be high priority items, HPI. So you can label those tasks as HPI. Now the second tier of tasks is going to be tasks that you would like to get done, but it's not 100% necessary for you to get done today. And those are going to be your medium priority items. So you can label those tasks as MPI. And the third task type is LPI. And these tasks are kind of, extra. You don't really need to get them done, but it would be awesome if you did get them done. So those tasks are going to be low priority items and you can label them as LPI. So every morning when you wake up, list out all of your tasks and prioritize them appropriately. This is going to help you because you're going to knock out all of the crucial tasks first and really kind of eliminate the tasks that tend to overcomplicate things or just be extra that you don't really need to do. So during the day, the first task that you're gonna check off are the tasks that you absolutely have to do and you're going to be focusing on those high priority items first. And that's the most important thing. All right, the third tip is to reward yourself after working very hard. So an example of this is Mark and I will say, okay, we're gonna have to get one whole lesson for our course recorded and edited today. Now that is a 12 hour task. And so normally I wouldn't be able to accomplish that in one day, I would split it up into two days, but sometimes I'm on a time crunch. So what I do is I say, Lily, if you accomplish all of that stuff today, you're going to get to go to your favorite restaurant and eat dinner tonight. Just because it's so important to reward yourself after working very hard. And if you're someone who's maybe an entrepreneur or, or doing something that's out of the box, people might not tell you that you're doing a good job or reward you in any way. Um, you get rewarded at a full-time job by getting pay increases and uh, all of that good stuff. Stuff, but if you're working on your own, no one's going to reward you except yourself. So that's why I would say that this one is 100% crucial that you take time to reward yourself for hard work and accomplishing hard tasks. All right, guys, that's all my tips for you today. I really hope that you learned something and that you can be at your highest productivity while you're coding your next great idea. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bells on so that you never miss a video from me. All right, see you next time.